Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so this video shows you what to do if you've upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 and you decide you want to go back to Windows 10. Now, you've only got a time limit of doing this. I think it's about 10 days, so you can't decide a year later, oh yeah, I'm fed up with Windows 11, I want to go back to Windows 10. You have to make that decision pretty quickly and sometimes, be warned, this method might not work. If it doesn't work, then unfortunately the only way of getting Windows 10 back on there is to go download a copy of Windows 10 to a USB stick boot from it wipe your system clean and reinstall from scratch but like I say if you're within the 10 day period of installing Windows 11 or upgrading to Windows 11 then you may well be able to use this feature but like I say it's not guaranteed but this feature should allow you to keep all your programs and your files intact as always though I'd always say make sure that you do back up anything important and make sure you've got passwords to get back into your emails and re-download your apps. Make sure you've got keys to reinstall your apps on there if need be, because as always, things do go wrong at times. And uh, if they do when uninstalling this, then you could find that you might need to again, reinstall your system from scratch. So once you've backed up everything, once you've got all your passwords together, and once you've got all your means of reinstalling your programs, then follow this guide. So all we do is we click on the start button at the bottom of the screen, then click on settings. And then when the settings window comes up, click on system just there and then scroll down and we need to find recovery. Once you've found recovery, click on that and then go down and you should have go back there. If it's going to allow you to go back to Windows 10, then that will be there. If you're past the 10 day period of um, installing Windows 11 or upgrading to Windows 11, then that option may well be greyed out or may well disappear. Or if the files to take you back to Windows 10 have been corrupted, then again, that option won't be available and your only means is to reinstall Windows 10 from scratch. So let's try it. So if I click on go back, let's see what it says. So we get this message here, go back to Windows 10, getting things ready. This won't take long, well it will take a while. So, okay, so it's asking us why are you going back? So let's just choose any reason on there. I'll just say Windows 10 seemed easier to use. Then move a mouse over next, left click. Okay, so it says check for updates. Before you go back, try installing the latest updates. This might fix the problems you're having. So we've got a choice here. We can click check for updates and see if that resolves any problems we're having, or we can click no thanks. So I'm gonna click no thanks. Okay, so it says what you need to know. This might take a while and you won't be able to use your PC until it's finished. Leave your PC plugged in and turned on. After going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs. You'll lose any changes you made to settings after the upgrade to Windows 11. Are your files backed up? This shouldn't affect them, but it's best to be prepared. So as I said, make sure that you've got a backup of all your files before you do this. Make sure you've got your passwords. Make sure you've got your means of reinstalling your apps if you need to, if the worst should happen. Once you're happy with that, move your mouse over next. Left click once. So it says here, don't get locked out. If you use a password to sign into Windows 10, make sure you know it. You won't be able to sign in without it. So, okay, make sure you've got that. Left click next. Okay, so finally it says, thanks for trying Windows 11. If you end up missing improved search security and startup, come back to Windows 11 anytime. So move your mouse over, go back to Windows 10, left click once, okay. The computer will start to restart and uh, then it will start uninstalling Windows 11. Like it says, make sure the PC is kept on. If it's a laptop, make sure it's plugged in at the mains and switched on. Okay, so it says restoring your previous version of Windows. So as it said, this is gonna take a little while. So walk away from it now, leave it for a half hour, an hour, depending on how quick your computer is. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back to it in the next step. Okay, so it's now logging back into Windows 10. And there we go, Windows 10 is back as it was prior to us installing Windows 11. So there you go, I hope this guide helps. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you think your friends, family and colleagues might like it, don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you wanna find out about all my latest videos, hit that subscribe button.
Thanks very much for watching.